Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we bring you some more uh, tutorials with lots of information to help you make your knitting even better than it already is. Yes, and we're working on the facing, facing of a garment. Because I had a lot of questions, well, not a lot of questions, but... Well, quite a few actually, that's the thing, you know, we read comments, we do videos and we read comments. Uh, a while back we did a video on knitting buttonholes where we showed people how we knit buttonholes. Uh, we were knitting a placket and then we talked about adding the placket to the garment and we were talking about facing and then um, reading the, the comments I realized, you know, because you get one comment once, somebody asks, but shouldn't there be buttons on the facing? And you're thinking, okay, maybe the viewer has misunderstood something, uh, but then you kept, keep reading that comment again and again and again. Uh, and when you've read it uh, six, seven times, and then you get emails about it, <laughs> you realize like, that there is something that we may have forgotten to explain, or there is something that may need some clarification, and we don't want people to see a video and then wonder why uh, we didn't do this or why we didn't do that, and then we didn't explain it. So we're back here uh, to build up on that particular tutorial and to tell you a little bit about what facing is and also to define the word placket for you. Uh, if you want to see the tutorial that we did with the buttonholes, check out what is uh, coming up on the top of the screen. On that side, I think it is, there's a little information icon uh, that you can click on and then you will get the video that you can then go to and have a look. So today we're talking about facing uh, and the placket of a knitted garment. So facing. Yes, like we, in in the we need to define the, industry. Yeah, we need to define the word facing. What is facing? A facing is you and me facing each other. We're facing each other <laughs> exactly. Facing is facing like on on this skirt. The facing is kind of a copy of this piece on the inside. Yeah, That's and what's the face. function of fa facing? Only has one function. What is that? It has the function that is make make the garment more. Finish. Finish or third, um, sturdy. St uh, stable. Stable. And if you have a, a, a skirt like this with no lining, the facing is always nice because it hides the raw exactly. edges, edges. And you also put flisseline. I think that has changed name now. Yeah. When I worked in the fashion industry, it was called flisseline. Yeah, but you worked in a French uh, yeah. system. And, and then you put flisseline on, on the, this mm -hmm. piece and it goes on the inside. Yeah, so to make it, to make it more precise, facing, uh, the definition of facing is a strip of fabric. It can be knitted or it can be woven. The fabric covers an unfinished seam. As you can see on the inside, let's go to this area here on the back. You can see when you open it up, you've got an unfinished seam that is hidden by the facing that is now covering the fabric. Yes. So that is the definition of facing. Um, and let's put this skirt aside. It's from our old days when we were in the fashion industry a couple of hundred years ago. And in Norwegian, this is called the beleg. And we have the same word for, for this. Facing. Yes. This is the beleg. Mm -hmm. Now let's facing. show you. Now let's show you a garment that has uh, no facing. Uh, we found this little uh, vest. It belonged to Arne's granddad uh, in the south of Norway, uh, not on the farm where he grew. So this is Arne's paternal, uh, maternal uh, grandfather. And if you look closely at the inside of uh, the vest, uh, the uh, there's a raw edge. And there's no facing here. So, uh, so you've you... got the knitted, you've got the knitted placket, uh, and then somebody has sewn the placket to the uh, to the knit, and they have overlocked the seam, and then they have sewn it down uh, there without using facing. Now we're going to talk about the placket as well before mm -hmm. we show you. Um, a placket in knitwear is usually not double. Uh, if you do a double placket, it will be too bulky. Now, when you have a, a, a woven placket on a shirt, that placket will be done double. So Even in, it can be in two pieces or it's just the fabric that is folded. Folded and then it's stitched down. The reason why it's double in a shirt is because it gives it more stability and then you're working with probably a fabric that is very lightweight and very thin. And that's so, not the facing. And that's not the facing, that's just the <laughs> placket in a woven garment. Now, when you have a knitted garment, 
you can't put the facing double. And I think that is where the confusion was coming and the people were asking whether we would put uh, buttons on the facing because I think that a lot of people uh, were actually thinking that what you would do is you put the facing around the jacket like that and then it had to have buttons Make both sides. Double. But you can't really do that because that will be a very bulky and a very sloppy uh, yeah. thing. So the placket in knitwear is usually single. You can see here, there's a single placket here. I have a machine-made jacket from one of our collections uh, way, way, way in the past. And it also has a single placket. Usually a knitted placket is single and a woven placket is double. Mm. So what you need to do when you're doing a, a placket in knit is you want to do a nice and neat job on the inside. So when you are attaching the fabric, you're actually adding a piece, well, sorry, when you're attaching the placket, you're actually adding a piece of fabric in knit that you're then covering this seam and then stitching it down. Mm. So this one will have an extra piece that comes over like this, like we've done on this one. Yeah, so let's show it. See, this is, this is the the front, the, the placket, the placket, the knit, and that is only in knit and pearl, mm -hmm. with or without buttonholes. It depends on a men's wear or a women's wear. It's the opposite side. And then you have this extra piece, in which is here, knit that covers the rest. So once so you sew, once you sew the, the the once you sew the placket onto the garment, the last stage is you put the facing towards the garment and then you stitch it down here so that the seam that you can see here is now hidden with this fabric on top. This makes it a beautifully finished garment and you have no shame because you don't have to show your ugly seam like Inside. on this, like on this uh, vest because it's hidden. So this is how it looks when you knit it. You have the rib and you have the stockinette. So when you put it on it will look like this. So this, this covers. You will sew it in. You sew it in and this cover up the raw edge. That's the facing on a placket. On a knitted placket. On a knitted placket, but no buttonhole on the facing. Mm -hmm. That's kind of <laughs> what we wanted to explain yes. today. That's so what we yeah, so hopefully uh, now I am, um, we're really hoping that the people that had doubts about the facing that were wondering why we wouldn't, why we weren't putting buttons on facing understand the principle of what a facing, what facing is. So to sum it up, uh, and you can actually check also uh, on websites on sewing instructionals and tutorials, a facing is simply a piece of fabric that covers an ugly seam like this one over here. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching, <laughs> and it is a really ugly scene. But if you want a double one, please go ahead. Yeah. But you have to you will struggle with the button. But it's bulky and not recommendable. Do a single placket and do uh, a nice facing. Don't have ugly seams like this, because this is really hideous. So Maybe some people think that's nice. I think we're going to put it the right way and just don't okay. think about it anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching <laughs> and remember that we bring you tutorials every single week so please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any. If you love the tutorials please click on the like button. If you have questions, if you have anything on your mind that you would like us to answer at some point make sure to hit the comment line and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye! Bye.